hi guys how is everybody doing i hope everybody is doing good it's monday i know it's monday that's when everybody has to be back out working right anyway guys um you know the weather is lousy over here right now war going on down in ukraine so i just thought you know i come across this um chef on um youtube and what I try to do now, um, folks, not just for Black History Month, but in Canada and in, I'm in Toronto, right? And where I'm living in Toronto, it's like a whole Caribbean nation, Trinidad and Grenada and Barbadian, Guyanese, ah, uh, you name it. And we're all here, right? So I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to be doing um, some, some recipe from other islands. I'm you know, going to go one day because you know that... Um, Grenada and national dish is all down and all down is um you know you have the pig steel and they put all sort of meat in it with a color loo and their color loo is basically the the dashin art okay and um all sort of food and cook it down it's very good and um Barbadian now it's um the flying fish you cook up your flying fish with whatever and um Trini Trinidad and now I don't know what's the national dish I have to go look it up again you know um. But right now, um, I come across this um, young Trinidadian chef and her channel is called um, Eta Food. And it's E-A-T-A-H Food. And her name is Renee, right? And um, I was just um, so impressed with, um, you know, um, the stuff that she was doing. So one of the things she did that day was all to do with mangoes. She did a mango sorbet, a mango smoothie, and a mango pancake. I've never seen pancake done in mangoes before. So you say, you know what? I say, I'm going to try those um, today. And you know, right now, the winter time, um, you know, we don't get, we get mangoes, but they're very expensive. But um, Julie mango would be a great one because for smoothies and stuff like that, you need the mangoes with less fiber, right? So um, there's no Julie, no East Indian right now. So, but we have um, this one called Alfonso, um, little yellow mango, but they're very sweet and um, not too fibrous, okay? So, basically, um, these are the ones I got and I froze some already. I'm going to be using some mango juice and frozen mango for the sorbet. And this cube going to be, um, as I go along, you will see, okay? So, you know, mangoes... Um, I love my Julie mango and East Indian, you know, but um, even Aiden mangoes, but you know, right now it's winter. And like I said, you know, they're very far in between. So, um, and this was one of the best one I've seen out there right now. Less fiber, but you want to do your stuff with um, smoothie and stuff with um, less fiber mango. But like I said, I come across her channel and I like to dig up people, you know, that's how we have to live, support each other. And she's in Trinidad, you know, and, um, I was just taken aback with the, uh, you know, the mangoes. I know in Trinidad and Jamaican places like that we have lots of mangoes, right? So Renee, dig up yourself. And her channel is called Fiat Food. And she's a chef in Trinidad. I think she do Trinidad and Tobago. And like I said, I'm going to start doing um, some stuff from other islands. Because, you know, something we're all... It's amazing that, you know, when you take a stop, the stuff that um, people do in Trinidad and... and um, Barbados and Grenada, we do cook some of the same stuff, but we call them different names, you know, because you take, um, Chocho, for instance, Chocho is called Christophine in most of those islands, and, um, Kalaloo, they call our Kalaloo, they use it, but it's called Baji, you know, so this is it, so the same stuff that we cook with, is just that we call them different names, and like I said, is where they drop us off, you know, and People, we always have this bad reputation that, you know, Trinidadian and Jamaican, we don't get along, we always fight it. Not true. Not all the time. A few people in both groups are like that. But I have so much Trinidadian friend here and I'm um, Barbadian, Grenadian, because it's like little Toronto is like little Caribbean, you know, little Caracom, you know. So um, for me, black history is all through the year. It's not just one, it's not just the shortest month of the year, so... I'm going to be doing some stuff from all of these islands, including Africa. Um, you know, every time I, I cook something, I'm going to try to incorporate a dish from some one of our melanated um, 
you know islands or you know the continent of africa because um we don't have we have black history and it's every day six 365 days a year black history is for us right so this is it so and trinidad have some very nice dishes similar to some of us in jamaica you know but with a little different twist on it so i'm gonna be gonna try and do a few you know um so i just want to big up everybody in trinidad and let people know that no jamaican and not all jamaican and all trini we're at each other that's so we have a few um you know on both sides and that's it but for the most part we all get along pretty good because we are all one people you know one love so the first one i'm going to be doing is sound um, the sorbet and i froze the mango i froze it okay um and it does you know come up better um that way because if i do it right now with the fresh mango you have to put it in the fridge if you do it with fresh mango put it in the fridge for um two hours then you take it out but this is frozen so all you have to do with the sorbet i put the um frozen mango in already and all i'm gonna do is add about a tablespoon of lemon juice lime juice lemon if you have lemon but lime I've, um she used lime so i'm gonna go i don't want to stray away from um you know um because when i try to do other um other people's stuff um you know people always say they try to incorporate their own stuff but i i like to keep it um real so she did use lime juice so that's what we're gonna go with so i have bought my blender and my magic bullet here so any one of them that um i might use both for depending on what i'm doing because i'm gonna be doing the smoothie after this and we're gonna be doing the pancake also after this so it is gonna be very interesting i'm gonna make a little noise now okay <laughs> stuff you know um so because if you use it i find I'm gonna get my um I am gonna get my toaster I'm going because I have to toast some um walnuts so I'm just gonna leave that for a few minutes let it sort of get soft while I cook up my toast oven here because I have to do some toast some walnut for I think it's walnut you use or um but you know what any nuts you prefer so i'm gonna throw some walnut so i'm just gonna let that um flow out a little bit because i don't want to yeah and then i'm just gonna chop a few walnut and put them in the um in my um toast the oven to toast in the meantime yeah you gotta be um multi i'm just gonna let that um melt down a little bit while i'll I need, I'm gonna need some um, walnuts for. You can use walnut pin, um, pecans, or I don't remember what nut she used. Let me see what nut she used. Cause I wrote it down. She used um. She used granola, so I'm using walnut. So I don't have any granola, so that's the one thing I have to improvise. Eh? I don't have any granola, so I'm just going to be using walnuts. But I like to toast it first, and that's going to be for the um, smoothie. You're going to put, mix some in the smoothie, and you're going to use some to, um, as a garnish on top of it. So I'll just put these in. Like I said, I'm just going to let that thaw out a bit more. 
Yeah, I'll just make this for Bert and I'll put it in the fridge for a little while. So I love walnuts though. I love walnuts and pecan. I love granola too, but I don't have any because I don't really the most nuts I use is walnut, almond, pecan. Chia, chia. I have chia. I have sunflower. And I have flaxseed. But I'm just gonna stick with her. Um, like if I was doing for my smoothie, I would have shea seed in it and flaxseed and even sunflower. But I'm just wanna stick to a recipe for this. You can, you know. So I'm just gonna put these in there too. I just have the the um the toast oven. I just put it on top of my oven, my stove. And I'm just gonna let that toast in the meantime. You have to know how to multitask. Okay, so I'll see. Oh. Okay. My mango seed. I love it. Okay, so let me get that. give it a shot again um, and and for the sorbet it's just two ingredients the mango and um, some lime juice and like I said if you use fresh mangoes you just put it in the freezer for a couple of for about one to two hours so I'm gonna try again I think that's it folks. So, I'm just gonna... so what did she said to do with it is to put it. Well, you know, this is frozen right now, so I don't have to, you know, I forgot. I don't have to worry about putting this in the freezer because this is practically, you can heat this right now. It's done. It's frozen. So if you're doing one with um, fresh mangoes, then you will freeze it. So this is the mango smoothie right here. But I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge until um, all everything is done. Okay, so basically this is the mango smoothie. Um, so, um, sorbet, S O R B T. This is a sorbet. I'm gonna do this smoothie next. So this is the mango sorbet here, folks. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna stick it in the fridge, and when I'm ready, I'll you know, tastes good. That lime give it a nice kick. So I'm just going to rest it in the fridge for now. So next I'm going to do, I'll be doing the um, smoothie. I think I'm going to do it in the blender because um, I just, um, I have several, um, my magic bullet is one of the smaller ones. So I have two different ones. I use one that when I do stuff in it and if it's um like, um, turmeric it's stained it so I keep that one just for doing turmeric and stuff that's stained and this one I keep for um, doing everything else that don't stain but these are small so um, I had a big one before but um, it's time it did it's time so when I bought I just bought the smaller one the smaller ones um, but you know basically it focuses me alone most of the time me myself and I and everything I'm doing I just do a small amount same while I'm cooking because it's just unless the family come along. Okay, so this is gonna be for the smoothies. And um, I have to get the um walnut is coming. So I need ice I um ice and yogurt, granola and cinnamon. So I hope I have yogurt. I hope I have yogurt. 
Okay, I have some Greek yogurt. So we need um uh half a cup of yogurt, some ice, but I don't really because these are frozen, so um and cinnamon. So I'm just gonna add the yogurt and she didn't really measure anything, she just um do her thing. So oh my gosh. Oh. Folks, this stupid I burn up they all not. Ow. I'm so mad right now. I am so mad right now. Walnuts are burned. I gotta do some more. I didn't realize it would be burned that fast. So folks, I just gotta stick some more walnuts in there and wow gotta cut up a few well anyway that will sort of um melt down a bit okay so everything out in four ways so i have to just cut some wall some more walnut i'm working with small space folks so i have to be very creative My walnuts all burn. Not even five minutes or so. I just wow. So I have to cut some more. I just chop some more and just um. I don't want it to be too long, folks. So let's get going with it because I got to do the pancake too. That's pretty fast anyway, so. Okay, I gotta watch these pretty good. When you do what nuts and you toast it, it brings out the flavor. It brings out the flavor and it tastes like you, um, whatever you're doing tastes so good. So that's why you toast them. I just freeze a lot of them once they're ripe, so you know, because I want a lot of uh, stuff with mangoes. The mangoes is so good for you. Mango has so much potassium, magnesium, a lot of vit vitamin K, all of that. You know, it's very good for you. If you're a diabetic, you just um, you know, talk to your doctor about eating because mangoes have sugar in it, so. It's natural sugar, but you know what? If you're diabetic, um, talk to your dad, so uh, the doctor, so he could tell it. Ba uh, ma mangoes and banana, they have a lot of sugar. It's, it's um, good sugar if you're if you're not diabetic, you have no problem. But if you're diabetic, um, talk to your doctor and ask what the amount are you all able to eat. Because they're having a lot of sugar. Don't even think you're going to burn again. Okay. Okay. Done with that. Okay. So, I just need cinnamon. Uh, I think about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm just going to eyeball that because I'm pretty good at eyeballing tea. And I think it's about a half a cup of yogurt. This is one I have here. This is... um. Plain, you're using plain yogurt, okay? No yogurt with sugar, plain yogurt. Plain, if you have Greek yogurt, it's even better. And I'm gonna be using about a, half a cup. I think I heard her say that, so. Um, okay, let me just open this one. This is my new one, so. So 
So we're gonna use about a half a cup of yeast. Plain yogurt, Greek yogurt, if you have it, that's good. Any plain yogurt. If you have your favorite yogurt, you can go for it, okay? This one I'm using is what? Cedar, it's, a, it's called cedar. And plain yogurt is so good for you guys, um, you know, in everything. Better than, do, because if you check the regular yogurt and see the amount of sugar that's in that thing, even the fat free one, it's sugar in it because they take out the fat and they had sugar. So a lot of people are fool, fool a lot of time about fat free stuff. Oh yes, it's fat free. No, if they take out the fat, they have to replace it with something. And it's usually sugar. So there you go. So I'm putting, so um, about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a cup of yogurt, and um, your mangoes, any amount of mango you want to use. She didn't. Like I said, she didn't really measure anything, so I'm just, um, you know, going along. Try to stick along with the recipe as close as possible. Because when you're professional, um, but I prefer like measuring things because a lot of times people ask, so how much do you put in there? How much do you put in there? So you put to measure stuff for people can't, you know, I'm not going to say you can't cook, but now. Um, we asked to okay i'm gonna blend in on see what happened oh what's this okay folks so i'm blending it's not plugged in folks so it won't work so i just have to plug it in this these um recipe no honey no nothing because mango is naturally sweet okay so i think a little bit of water was added to it a little bit of um yeah not a lot a little bit you don't need any honey any sugar in um in this blended blend up a little bit more tastes good tastes very good wow so this is your sorbet here, folks. That's your mango. No, your smoothie. Your mango smoothie. I'm mixing them up. That's the smoothie right there. Okay. Yeah. And folks, I'm just gonna quickly, and then you just had your um, your granola. These are walnuts. So you just had your walnuts on top.
Okay, I'm just gonna invest it in the fridge for a few minutes when till I display everything. So folks, I'm just gonna do a pancake very quickly. Get rid of some of this stuff. so I have my bowl here and uh, I needed um, I need a cup of flour I'm going to use my skillet. I'm going to be using some um, buttermilk because I made more butter yesterday, so I have the milk. So it's a cup of flour. And this is just all purpose flour. Okay, that's one cup of flour. And folks, another thing I've seen um, people t um, talking about um, baking powder. If you want to keep your baking powder fresh, when you op when you buy when you open it, keep it in the fridge all the time, and your baking powder will be fresh here in here. When you bring it home and once you open it, folks, put it in the fridge. So I need to teaspoon of baking powder because baking powder is leave outside it becomes stale so that's my um, little advice there keep your baking soda baking powder in the fridge so that's tea two spoon of baking powder otherwise it will go bad okay I need eggs I need an egg And I like to take the ligament out of my egg, so let's crack it and take the, you say they call it the egg eye. I use the eggshell for my plants. That's so much calcium in your eggshells. Banana skin and eggshells are good for your plant. Good fertilizer for the plant. So I'm just taking out the high and what some people might, what they call the ligament, that white spot, the white thing. I think that's what all the egg whites and the red together. So let's quickly take that out. And I'm just going to mix up my hair. Okay, so I have um. So I have um okay half a cup of the mango cream. That's what I have there right now. Um so I need a half a cup of that along with um milk. So a half a cup of mango cream will be added also and I'm going to be using my buttermilk. Everything is falling apart. Yesterday I did, uh, I did some more butter for a friend of mine, so I saved the buttermilk. So, um, it's... Okay, where's the milk? So it's a half a cup of mango cream, two cups of butter. Oh, okay, and a half a cup of milk. So this will go in. I'm 
mango is going to go in and a half a cup of milk and this is buttermilk so that's good stuff and that goes in so it should be interesting pancake yeah so i have okay i need a teaspoon of butter and that's probably going to be used i think i see she used it for um making the pancake So I'm gonna use a teaspoon of my own homemade, not bragging, butter. No preservative, no additive, just straight up butter. I made this sponge yesterday. I made some for my son, so I also made some for myself. And it's not a very hard butter, so I think it's about a two tablespoons, so I'm just gonna eyeball that. Okay. And this is my own homemade butter. And I think just mix. Oh, I like to put a little bit of um cinnamon. That is just I had that. So basically you just mix folks, mix a pancake. And pancake not supposed to be smooth smooth, you know. It should be on the lumpy side. And salt, um, no, it doesn't need any salt because you know what she did, um, she didn't, because I think the, the butter is salt, so it doesn't need any salt. Like I say folks, I'm working for my recipe. And that is being heated. I'll just move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, no accident, no accident. Gotta just drop it very low because it's kill it heat up pretty fast and I'm just going to use I think she said she used the half or a third um yeah she used a third one to drop the pancakes so gotta show you the pot right now Okay, so yeah. Okay, folks, so I'm gonna start the pancakes. I don't want to be a long drawn out. That's why. But she did everything in one video, so that's why I'm just following and doing the same. And so she used a third, her uh, third cup to. to to do the pancake so you know every you know they will all be at the same size yeah 
and I'll be using maple syrup because pancake syrup pancake is pancake syrup is not real maple syrup that's why they sell it so cheap to us so I'll be using maple syrup for so that's one in there let me just get my spatula folks what she did now she put some mango cubes oh yeah on top and then she flips it like I said people go over and support her channel she's very creative and she's young her name is Renee and the channel is Pet Fata um, it's F no, Eta, E-A-T-A-H, Eta Food, and her name is Renee, and she is straight out of the Trinidad. Big up Trini, the Trinidad. Okay, folks, so that's it. So, flip it over. Let me give it a little bit more heat. Yeah. I have my plate here ready to um. And on your pancake, she, she, you know, you could put any to any topping you want, but she just put a couple mango cubes. So, like I said, I may have had some blueberries and some strawberries. So those are, you know, very nice also. I won't take away anything from. So that's the first one they're going. I think she got about three or four out of the old batch because I think you know pancake usually just stack them. Like, I don't really make pancake when I mean, my niece or nephew of the kids. Yeah, it's not really, you know, it, it is nice and it's fun to do with, it, with kids. But for myself, no. I don't want to know. So while well, it's nice to, um, yeah. But the kids love it. And pretty soon it's going to be maple syrup time. Um, where the maple, they get the sap from the maple tree and um, yeah, maple syrup. So they have all of these, um places where I, I think they um where they gather the kids for spring break and um I think people should be getting this up from all the trees right now a lot of the kids gather at the science center and place like that for March break I don't know what it's gonna be this year I'm just sending lots of love for my all the folks in Ukraine have to get out, include all those 27 Jamaican and the African. Because they were stopping them from getting on, on the train. So I just, let's all just pray for them folks so they get out safe. Okay. I think 27 Jamaicans is down there. And they're a medical student. They're there, um, you know, become doctors and, and students from Africa also. So um, let's just... Um, pray for them and um, they get out safely because um, that is serious stuff going on down there you know that is serious stuff okay and you see look at that she is creative I tell you she is very creative. When I saw that, and because you know, I, I watch a lot of cooking show, and I don't really get um, much impressed by a lot of them. But when I saw her out of Trinidad and what she was doing, and she does some very nice dishes. That's why I said, first, um, go over there and um, watch Renee, and you know, support her. Yeah, I could have just come and do it and said that's my creation, but now. I watched her and um, I saw it on, I saw her doing her thing and I said, you know, let me try it and big her up. So folks go over there and um, just um, 
subscribe to our channel give her give her some show her some love okay her name is Renee eat a food in Trinidad they have another good Trinidadian um, very popular one called food nation that one is also good so you just had some mangoes Add some mangoes and you know mangoes have such good flavor folks so this the uh, uh, like i said i just trying them so it should um, i have a feeling it's gonna be good and if you don't have any health issue and even if you do i think you know you just talk to your doctor and he'll tell you what amount of mangoes because i'm pretty sure you know when i was a nursing home patient have a certain amount of um banana or mango but you know oh i almost burned this one this skillet is so you have to be so careful with it you know with the heat it's very good but Butter gives everything flavor and don't let me tell you that butter is this and butter is that. It's margarine you have to be careful of. Margarine is the one with um all that fat in there that can kill you, you know, can make you very sick. Wow. Look at that folks. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let me hurry up and finish this thing so okay so this one is another one down i like to flip them back and forth I really <clears throat> okay and i'm just gonna set that in the bottom in this much bigger I think I can get one more then folks that's it then I just you know anything else I can do later on I think you could get um maybe about four pounds later out of the the cup of flour yeah I think it, there's one more there that I could get out of it so Top it with the mangoes. I'm going to be creative with that.
good with the heat. Hop them down so it doesn't burn. That's the skillets. Okay. Put it to the side so we can uh, get the side cook. We have to be creative in cooking. To get the sides to cook, yeah. That's another one. All right, folks. It's just one more, but I'm just gonna start on. Um, so you can you actually get four pancakes from it. Sorry, my fingers are clean, folks. I'm just yeah, uh, just trying to get it all out, you know. Everything is done. I'm just setting it up now. Setting everything together. That's it. The squat is hot. Side. These are very fluffy pancake, folks. Very fluffy. They say, I think that's it. There you go, folks. Pancake is done. I'm just gonna put some blueberries around it and some animal milk. Put some blueberries on it. Some strawberries. The mangoes is on top already, folks. So. So, folks, and I'll have the 
So you just pour your um, maple syrup all over it. This could go for about four. Each one is going to get one. So, folks, that is Renee from Trinidad and Tobago. And her show is Eat a Food. And this is straight out of Trinidad and Tobago. Go over and watch her channel and so give her some love, support her. So it's um all mangoes right here. So it's a mango pancake, mango sorbet, and mango smoothie. And everything is made from mangoes here. Okay, folks. So big up Renee in Trinidad and Tobago on her channel eat a food okay folks um basically that's it so you could go and try that and like i said you know you can't go wrong with mangoes you know so folks there you go so i'll put the pancake up front so you can see it and they look delicious absolutely delicious okay so there you go folks pancake sorbet mango sorbet and mango smoothie and mango pancakes okay enjoy so folks i hope you go watch okay all right peace i hope you go watch your channel i should say and folks if you like you know give it a thumbs up subscribe and share appreciate it okay and you know what leave a comment let me know what you think all the trinities out there give leave a comment okay Hopefully all positive, you know. Well, you know, you have to take negative criticism also. Okay, so folks, have a good one. Peace.